So recently I was reading Penny Arcade. For those of you who don't know, Penny Arcade is a webcomic strip. Uh, in it, one of the characters, uh, Gabe, uh, was complaining about the writing in a Star Wars novel. And the guy who wrote it, the real Gabe, uh, is a big fan of Star Wars novels. And like one of his pet peeves is sometimes like the writing in it. Um, he was complaining about uh, this line, uh, something or something to this effect, um, that one of the writers said something can go... Th uh, through a ferrocrete bunker like a neutrino through plasma and he was complaining that he knows it's a Star Wars novel it says Star Wars on the cover, it's Star Wars characters that they don't need to say like science fiction terms in order for him to get the feel that Star Wars like him having to figure out stuff like that takes him out of the story so I decided I'd ask you guys some questions um, what do you think about uh, science fiction terms like techno babble or anything like that in uh, not just books, but in like movies or comics or TV shows or anything science fiction or fantasy related. What do you think about like terms like that? Um, personally, I don't mind techno babble. I'm not going to get into like Star Trek or anything. If you guys want to, you can. I'm just going to stick with Star Wars for this one. But um, personally, I don't mind like the ferrocrete walls because like to me that kind of is Star Wars. Because I've been reading way too many Star Wars novels recently. I'm in like my fourth in a week and a half. I probably should stop soon. Um, I need to start reading some real literature. <laughs> no, but they're uh, fun. But like, um, I kind of like the terms like Ferrocrete and it's fun seeing like the characters speaking like that and sometimes figuring out like what the Earth translation is. Like I like um in one of the books I'm reading. I'm reading a Jedi Academy right now. Uh, Leia was thinking about a present she had gotten Han, and it was a statue she bought from a trader uh, that was from uh, Han's homeworld of Corellia, and it was a kind of gaudy looking, but he said it was a classical of an important figure, and she thought, oh, it's like some important figure in the history of Corellia or something like that. So she gives it to Han, and he starts cracking up because it's a statue of a mascot of a fast food chain, and it wasn't exactly the wording fast food chain, but like I kind of like how they have like the Star Wars equivalent of a McDonald's or how Corellian food is essentially what you'd find in a greased diner like I think that's kinda cool stuff like that and um the one thing that does annoy me though is when they like refer to something as like being like an animal because a lot of the older novels they didn't have a lot of creatures to go on so like every five pages you'll see a reference to either a Bantha, a Tauntaun, or a Nerf and as much as I love Tauntauns, it's kind of annoying hearing like something referenced to it. Because like, apparently everything in the galaxy is just like a Bantha, a Tauntaun, or a Nerf. And that kind of annoys me. But um, other than that, like I don't know, I haven't read a lot of the newer books. I'm mostly going through the older ones. But um, So I don't know if the newer ones now like reference like creatures from the new trilogy. I don't know. But um... The other question I have for you is, what about swearing? Uh, does it take you out of the story in, of science fiction, or do you use it? Do you enjoy it? Like, what do you think about frack? I know some people think it's really cool, some people think it's annoying, and it's just a way to get past the censors, or some people think it, like, sets the mood. Um, personally, uh, since I'm talking about the Star Wars novels, I love it when they use the term sispawn. It's pretty much just like, damn it, except, like... Uh, the Star Wars equivalent, and it's fun because Sispawn is actually something in the Star Wars universe, but it's also fun because, like, I don't know, I just, like, it feels right when, like, Gavin Darklighter is shouting, like, complaining, it's like, ah, oh, Sispawn! It just feels right that he's shouting Sispawn and not, like, damn it, it just feels like his character would say that and not damn it. And, of course, I use terms like scruffy-looking nerf herder, um, and I have to admit, Han Solo is one of the most quotable characters in the history of the galaxy. Uh, there was like a list online of like the 20 most quotable Han Solo quotes and I'm like, but what about that one and that one? Like, there's just so many to use. Um, of course I use them Firefly. Uh, I love Goram and Gosi, except Gosi's people sometimes think I'm saying Gotsi, and that's not good. Although they are kind of, no, they're, they're both kind of creepy. But um, my favorite Chinese term, which I used to know how to pronounce, I had to write it down in order to do it, is... Da Xiong Ba Jia Shi De La Dutsi, which is essentially a bad Chinese translation of the explosive diarrhea of an elephant. And the other fun thing about being able to swear from the, knowing the swears from Firefly 
is that if you have any Chinese friends, they're going to be amused. And it's always fun to see the look on their face when I shout out something like that. <laughs> and I also love uh, quoting from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, that's not just swearing, though. But um, I do like using the uh, phrases like koopy fruit, juju loop, uh, juju floop, I mean, and uh, turtling drum. But there is one swear word from all of science fiction, fantasy, and comedy that I will never use. And since this is kind of like a seriously dramatic video, I think it might be okay for me to... I, I still can't say it because I'm just not comfortable with the word. So I'm just going to show it to you. And if you're a small child, if there's a small child or animal near you, or if you have a weak stomach or constitution, stop watching this video now because this word will haunt you for the rest of your life and I'm sorry that I but 